Hi, I'm Vikas Singh, currently working as a software engineer in Philips Innovation Campus, Bangalore. Can you briefly describe to us your company Philips in your own words? Philips is a Netherlands based company. It's a historic company founded way back in 1891. Currently, it is primarily operating in three categories, the lighting, consumer electronics and healthcare, of which healthcare it's now currently focusing a lot on. In India, it is based in uh, Bangalore, uh, Delhi, and uh, Pune, and uh, of which uh, Bangalore is the R&D center. Because how can we see the presence of uh, Philips in day-to-day -day things around us? I think Philips has been a company which has, for uh, many years, been constantly, you know, associated with day-to-day -day life of people. Uh, in categories like lighting and consumer electronics, I think there are a lot number of products which uh, happen to be used in day-to-day -day life of the people. Uh, in consumer electronics, kitchen appliances is one category in which it is, you know, one of the favorite companies of a large number of people. They go for buying various, uh, you know, equipments uh, in uh, kitchen appliances that are being manufactured by Philips. Healthcare is one sector in which Philips has started focusing a lot and in the last 15 to 20 years it has made rapid progress. In healthcare it is currently operating in various fields like uh, MRI, ultrasound, CT, X-ray, digital X-ray. Because what are the technologies that Philips as a company in general is working on? Healthcare related, uh, particularly in MRI what I have seen, the work is uh, the, the new development is primarily based on C sharp, WPF, WCF, uh, while the older works are based on C, C++ and there is a gradual transformation from uh, these C, C++ codes to these object oriented languages like C sharp. Uh, the lighting, uh, they primarily work on Java, uh, their work is more related to like uh, trying to provide uh, innovative solutions to lighting in the form of app development and all, uh, automation related. So their work is um, uh, mainly based on Java. What is the kind of exposure that you get at your company outside of your work? Philips is a people's oriented company. So a lot of focus is there on the, the company social responsibility. A lot of initiatives have been taken by uh, Philips uh, for you know combating problems such as uh, in healthcare particularly it has uh, taken initiatives for combating breast cancer, trying to raise awareness among people. So a lot of activities have been taken uh, up by Philips for uh, as a part of its uh, CSR. In trips, uh, uh, I would say we have this annual event where we, you know, department wise, uh, the employees are as a team, they go out for a social outing to various destinations in India. Uh, uh, among the individual teams, there is this uh, habit of you know going out for frequent lunches in one or two weeks. So the overall scenario or the, the atmosphere in uh, uh, Philips related to these activities is very nice. For employees, uh, a lot of benefits are there. If you have completed say two years of your service in Philips, then a lot of new opportunities uh, are uh, happen to. Uh, you can get uh, like uh, for higher studies uh, you can go Philips has this set of uh, selected universities where you can pursue your higher studies uh, yes that is definitely you know work should, your masters or your higher studies should be related to your uh, work you are doing to the corporate sector uh, and it it will definitely be some contract based but yes the opportunity is there and the whole and the entire cost is borne by the company itself so are there ways in which Philips interacts with students who are currently in college. Apart from going for uh, placements in various institutes of India, uh, it also hires interns from various colleges. So that is one thing. Vikas, tell us about the work culture and the work environment that you have found in Philips. The work hours are flexible. Uh, as per industry norms, uh, eight hours you are expected to work a day, but it is flexible and. A lot depends on your work also. From 10 to 4, it's kind of uh, essential that you are present in office for you know interaction purpose and all. Uh, the rest two hours, you know, it can be flexible. Either you can come early or you can go late. Uh, but yes, it depends on the work also. Uh, the work pressure, 
to be very honest it also depends on the work that you have sometimes you may get easy work sometimes you know works are given which are have high priority and plus are a bit complex so you need to spend more time so the work pressure depends on the kind of work that you have and uh, apart from that uh, uh, the relationship with the senior people is very good you know the management is very supportive HR is also very supportive, very great, and it's kind of very interactive environment in the office. We work in an R&D team, so there's a frequent interaction between uh, various teams on issues like interoperability. So the work environment is very interactive, and the management is also very supportive. Uh, in office facilities, I would say uh, a lot of facilities have been provided uh, by the company to employees to you know just ease pressure and you know just. Maintain that work-life balance. Uh, football is there, TT table is there, terrace cricket is you know played, and uh, we have one of the best cafeterias I think in Bangalore. A lot of food options are available. So yes, these are the facilities.